Hi, it's Sophie from the Isabel Craft Collection. Um, I'm doing a run of videos on using acetate. There is so many things you can do with acetate, but I'm just doing three main ones. The first video is on shaker cards, and today um, I'm going to do a video on where you can kind of make things look as if they're floating, like embellishments on a card, which is quite cool. Uh, looks like they're suspended in air, basically. So all you need really is, as always, you need a card blank, you need some sort of die to cut an aperture into the front of the cards, piece of acetate and then some sort of funky em embellishment that you want to put on the main thing. This is probably the quickest one to do of all time really. So I've already prepped it, um, I use my, again I just thought oh, I might as well just continue to use my hexagon die. So I basically ran my card through with my trusty cuttle bug which I got for £10 from a local charity shop, which I'm always very jealous about. <laughs> and um, run uh, the card through with the die facing downwards so you can see exactly where you're putting the, the uh, die. And so you end up with um, basically an aperture card. I actually used this white from this card on my other card that I did before with the shaker. I actually used that that shape, so so waste not want not. I used the aperture section from here, and I used it to make my groovy shaker card in my first video. Okay, so all you need is to um, maybe stamp. Uh, I decided to use an embellishment with a dog on, so I used some little paw prints. Now the paw prints are from. The Isabel Craft Collections uh, cat stamps, you can't see them terribly well, but I've used little paw prints there and I've used also a greeting which says, with love on your birthday. Okay, And then I cut a piece of acetate to size and put some double sided sticky tape on it. So all I'm going to do is take that off, like thus, and if I get it the right way around hopefully it'll look okay. So I just cut it so that it was larger than the aperture otherwise you'll have bits of um, double si sided sticky tape showing and then I align, oh, there's a bit missing there, okay and then I align this up so none of the sticky tape is showing and I put, it doesn't really matter how you put it down really but just make sure that you uh, stick it down on the inside, otherwise it won't look so good. So what you've essentially got there now is an aperture with acetate in it. And I don't know whether anyone's bought embellishments from Mayflower. I've just kind of bought out the whole shop and I just haven't really used them enough. So I've got this really cute little uh, Scotty dog. And again, I think Cosmic Shimmer Glue will do the job, although it's sort of like... Um, felt on the inside. It, it so it soaks in a little bit, but Cosmic Shimmer Glue does do the job. And then essentially I'm just going to blob the the, uh, the dog down on the acetate on the outside. And what we end up with there is obviously it, it needs to, to dry a little bit, but in a sense what we've got is we've got a floating dog, which is quite cool. Okay, so there you are, you've got another really cool aperture card and you've got a sense of something floating. Another thing you can do is you can stick a piece of sort of elastic, um, see-through elastic or a um, piece of nylon thread um, from the top of the card to the bottom and you can actually hang something in the middle but that would be if you didn't have the acetate but with the acetate you suspend things so hopefully uh, that's given you another idea for acetate okay so thanks very much for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you in my next video bye bye